Well, welcome back to my channel, Divine Timeless Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across the platform, let me be the first to say, welcome, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum, shalom, namaste, paz, and blessings. Listen, I know that for whatever reason you stopped scrolling, maybe it was the title, maybe it was the beautiful flowers, maybe it was the sound of my voice, by way of maybe some form of familiarity. Whatever the case, whatever the circumstance, my hope is that you come in, one, getting what you need out of this reading in order to go about your way with the hopes that it's going to help you on your spiritual journey. Two, I hope that you come in with intentions, with an intuition and or determination by way of your discernment to hear what you need to hear, see what you need to see very effortlessly and what does not belong to you. I hope you see that too. And I hope that you are wise enough to leave this information for somebody else to take if it does not resonate. That is my spiritual disclaimer. Nevertheless, I support you in the energy. If you're returning back to the channel, you already know what it is. You are my beautiful, amazing, high vibrational, intelligent, handsome, beautiful, kings and queens, just wonderful soul tribe family. I am eternally grateful to be here with you today. Newcomers, listen, we have a song. It's called the Soul Tribe Song. It has absolutely taken on a life of its own. And so we support the morphing of this high vibrational energy. The song is very catchy. Feel free to sing along, hum along, stand up, sit down, dance a little bit, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you here to do. There's a high probability that I the universe and my soul team, we will absolutely support you in the energy. Come on in. Let's be friends. Listen. So child, love and light. So Conversation. Nine times out of ten, Spirit guided you here for a reason. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that you came back to hang out with me because, listen, we've been resonating for many, many lifetimes, but now we're really awakening to our power individually and collectively. And that, my friend, is absolutely a beautiful thing. Come on in. I call upon the highest of white light, purity, truth, and clarity. I call upon the beautiful energy of Yeshua HaMashiach and all the great ones that came before us by way of the prophets and the apostles. I ask that they open up the apostolic realms, prophetic realms, continue to put a shield of protection over us. Shout out to the beautiful high vibrational divine ancestors, the ones that sacrificed for us to be here today, to whom homage is always going to be due. Now, then, forevermore, we are so grateful. And that's just what it is. I ask that Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael come to assist as I come and bring this spiritual work by way of these synchronicities that we're catching. It is 1055 on the clock and whatnot. Baby, these planets are in a position that they haven't been in in a really long time. And the more timelines you clear, the more you're changing your now. This is really, really powerful, right? Because you got to remember in a lot of your lifetimes, you were unalived by some of your 
adversaries and they came back this time thinking that they were going to slither their way into your inheritance by way of your ascension, your ascended master energy, because this is the lifetime that you have dedicated to master yourself once and for all. Now, I can't say that you've not done it in previous lifetimes, but there was absolutely some blockages, right? Which is why you got karmic family members. Yes, yeah, some of them slithered and slide and slid and you know, was trying to get into your bloodline by way of your DNA. Some of them came back as your mothers, your fathers, your karmic sister, whatever. Listen, these are people that you've had beef with for a whole bunch of lifetimes, but the beef is, is it's just, it's, we don't need it no more, right? Why everybody got beef, but ain't nobody got filet mignon? Don't nobody got steak? Okay, I'll, maybe that was a little cheesy. Maybe that was a little corny, but you know, I appreciate myself and I support myself in the energy. Thank you for allowing me to be myself. So says the universe. So say I. What is this current energy under this double moon as the planets are in this position? They're trying to figure out what we got going on. Okay, so they're still up to the bullshit, right? So by way of popular demand, right? I put onto the community board, which readings did you all want to hear first? You said uh, the one that was the most popular is you went through so much spiritual warfare because you're built for this war, right? But here's the thing, the war and the battle are two completely different existences. People get it confused. They think that they are one and the same, but they are absolutely not. Yeah, confirmation, do, 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 do. Listen, they're absolutely not the same. The battle and the war, the battle was within. The battle was the inner me, your inner me, your enemy, once you've conquered your enemies within and you cleared out your lineage by way of the curses in your bloodline, the enemies on the outside of you had to fall in line. They don't know why they got to respect you. They just do. Even as they're doing their full moon rituals right now, they're looking at you. They're looking at the rituals. They're looking at you. They're like, yeah, nah, I don't want to do this again because the last time this shit just got me, you know, knocked out of the box, meaning the timeline box. It threw their ass off their kilter. Okay. Okay. So whatever they're speaking into the atmosphere, it's earthbound. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going into the higher realms. The spirit realm is not taking these people's prayers and or requests to curse you any further. Why? Because you have enough spiritual warfare up under your belt that you are certified to now intervene by way of intercessory prayer and or just intervening on the behalf of others now. This is what happens when you get to that level where you're considered to be a guru. And even when you come up out of these, you know, uh, bruised and battered battles, you know, internally, externally, whatever the battle, you like, damn, okay, you're the wounded warrior. You're like, I'm certified? Yeah, you're certified. You're certified. All the trauma, all the shit you had to go through was so that you could be ready to stand on the front line and spirit, universe, source, your ancestors need to make sure that you were not gonna pass out and or succumb to the first demonic force that you see. Listen, it's at the point now, you just walk in a room and they like bowing their heads, looking around. Child, if I get one more person that came look me in my face, I'm like, girl, I don't care about your past lifetimes. Get your shit together. If I don't come through with this energy, Okay, to let you know that the light is here, things are being illuminated, then you need to go within yourself and fix your shit. I'm the last person you need to be afraid of. And this is how they feel when we move in a room because your spiritual resume follows you. So listen, full moon, this is current energy, magic rituals, okay? So these bad shit ass crazy people are still under the full moon, sending you spiritual warfare, okay? One thing I can tell you that is for sure, they've been defeated. The two things are for certain. They will continue to be defeated by this high vibrational energy. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know where to go with it. They're just spinning their wheels. They're all out of ideas. They've already shot their best shot. They're exhausted. They gave up all their power when they channeled all that nasty energy to you. It put their ass down for days and days and days. Child, they can't jump a timeline. They can't go back in time. They can't be your friend and undo what it is that they've done. It is too late. Those realms, those doors are done, right? Because remember, once you've overcome death, once you've overcome yourself, you now have the keys to life, the keys to all the doors, all the realms, all the gates. You can lock the gates of hell. You can open up a realm, a demonic realm, and send every demon back to its portal and realm and timeline 
from whence it's come and bind them there and lock the door and throw away the key. This is the power, right? So what was it all for, right? I know, your mother came up against you, your father came up against you, they did death spells and death rituals, I know. Your sister always wanted to be you, I know. Your brother, for some reason, was always in competition with your girlfriends, listen. I know, listen. This was all because you needed to understand how to create the inner world in a way that your outer world would fall suit. Get in order. Just like you line up dominoes, they just got us to get in order. That's to say, full moon rituals, okay? So this spiritual warfare is really getting you blessed, believe it or not. I know they're doing it consistently, deliberately, monitoring spirits, child. The other day, was it today or the other day? I can't quite remember. It might have been today. But I was out and about, you know, just kind of doing my thing. And I saw these uh, monitoring spirits. And I, ca I, saw, I caught a couple of crows just looking at me. Like one of them stood right in the middle of the doggone road as I'm like parking my car. And I'm like, is this crow going to get out of my way? This blackbird was just looking at me and I'm looking at it. It's looking at me. I'm like, okay, are you going to move around? Child, these birds were running. Do you hear me? Normally they cross my path, okay? So I know that that represents, you know, messengers from the spirit realm. It also represents Eloi, the gatekeeper. It also represents, you know, uh, Anubis, the underworld. It also represents the Iyami, the mother witches, okay? There's always a message in nature, right? And so this particular time, I immediately got the download. I said, oh, these are monitoring spirits. Child, they were so scared. They was like running under cars and shit and blocking. I'm like, what are they? Because they're scared. Why? Because they're like, okay, they've done death rituals after death rituals. They spent their money. They spent their time, resources, okay? These people have put in a lot of work. They're too deep, in too deep to turn back now. And they know that if you're moving forward in a way that you are in this victorious energy and you have literally like taken the spiritual warfare and put it on the karmic plate and then you just digested it, you ate it. You ate that energy. <laughs> they know. They're watching you like, damn. Okay, now if that's her and that's him and they out here shining, and somehow they're getting new spiritual gifts and life is lighting for them. It's doing its thing. The universe is backing them. Then what happens to the energy that we sent out by way of our bad intentions? Yeah, at some point, it's going to be the boomerang effect. It's like simple math. What you put out is what you get back. It don't take a rocket scientist, you know, to, to sit long to calculate where somebody's energy is going to go at some point and or another. So these people are in very, very deep shit. Okay, but they're still doing full moon rituals. Uh, reveal to us what's going on, spirit. Monitoring spirits. Yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse. It, it, this is giving the inability to uh, transmute the energy. Okay, it's. I mean, what are they doing? Trying to reverse. You guys are burning reversal candles. You karmics. I don't know. You decided to be karmic. You didn't want to heal. You wanted to stay in that energy. So keep it. This is what the universe is saying. Two of pentacles in the reverse is like the inability to transmute. The, in, the inability to get away from energy that you put out before thinking. Hold on, y'all. There's a lot of shut-up spells, though, okay? A lot of shut-up spells. Hold on. Bear with me. I always got to clear the energy by way of the shut-up spell, and that's fine. You know what to do. We don't care about that. That's small in comparison to what it is that we got to get done, which is help people get through their spiritual awakening. Okay, so the shut-up spells have been broken, okay? <laughs> Needless to say, just that fast, it is done. Listen, okay, so two of pentacles in the reverse. Two of pentacles in the reverse represents, you know, balance, Archangel Metatron energy. They have no spiritual backing. There's nothing to help them reverse this energy. They have to sit in it. They don't like it. It's almost like, you know, when a child gets in trouble and you reprimand them and you put them in time out, right? Because there's a generation of us where we didn't whip our children. I didn't whip my children. I wasn't just beating my children, you know. They might get a pop on the hand. But this is giving that energy, you know. We were the timeout parents, okay. At least I was. Because I know what an ass whooping feels like. And I'm going to be honest, it didn't help me at all. Not at all. All it did was make me angry. 
It made me really want to hurry up and get up out of somebody else's house and never go back. Needless to say, this is what I'm getting. They're getting an ass whooping from the universe. They're children, badass children, that are being set down in time now to think about what they've done. And they're still up to mischievous things. With the two of pistols in the reverse, this is a lot of imbalanced energy. Yeah, Nine of Swords, look, they're still running their mouth. Nine of Swords, Page of Swords is gossip, talking. Still trying to bring something into manifestation and their words are falling on deaf ears. What does that mean? The apostolic realm is not taking the request. The universe is not backing their bullshit by way of what it is that they're spewing out and trying to curse people. What does that mean? They are earthbound people. Their prayers are earthbound. That's as far as it goes. 3D realm, that's it. Now, when you are in alignment and you're doing the right thing, let me just compare the two energies on two parallel lines that will never intersect ever again for all of eternity. Aren't we glad about that? It's so wonderful to know, oh my God, I'm so glad I'm getting new tests, right? It's something when you gotta keep taking the same tests over and over and counting the same kinds of people, the same kinds of spirits. You know, you might meet four or five people with the same kind of spirit. Right? Because that spirit is just on a journey. It's body jumping. It's hopping around. It's, you know, nevertheless. It's not It's not going anywhere. With the two of pentacles and the knight of swords, somebody thinks that they're smart. They're still just going and going because they don't know how to sit their punk ass down. It's a full moon ritual. Look, I cannot make it up. It's a tower. These cards are dedicated to source. They will always tell me the truth. The universe will always tell us the truth. As long as you're walking and standing in truth and doing the right thing, you will always find out what you need to know at the time you need to know it. It's a tower upon a tower upon a tower because somebody did something last night preparing for this double moon acting a double fool. So all this spiritual warfare up until this point has made you a spiritual warfare master. You have mastered this so much so. Why? Because your enemy is so stupid. They've done so much. It has all been revealed to you what they're doing. What does that mean? They don't have no secrets. They don't have no new tricks. Once you defeat your enemy, meaning your inner me, you stop fighting yourself and then you awaken to your higher self. Looking at the ones outside of you, it's just not adding up. You're like, bitch, I come in peace, love, and light. But I am about that spiritual war. We got people that can pray a warfare prayer in five minutes and drop some shit down to the 3D and bind them earth devils, period. You got earth angels, earth devils, whatever you want to do at any other level. Ain't no devils at this level. We've eliminated all of them. So when you get to this and it's on repeat cycle or somebody wants to spin the block with some nasty ass gossip or something that they're throwing your way or something they want to wish on you or candles or whatever the hell they're doing, they should really use their time a little bit more wisely as in time out. They're, they're in time out, okay? They don't like the fact that the universe is sitting that punk ass down. So somebody is still doing a full moon ritual. Look, the full moon is not even here yet. Look at this, chaos magic. Five of, five of wands, chaos rituals, angry, okay? It takes a lot of anger to do this kind of magic. A lot of misery, a lot of depression, a lot of low vibrational uh, talking, a lot of cursing, a lot of imagining things to be bad. All of this to no avail. All of this energy that they're putting out is going nowhere. It holds absolutely no weight. It has been dismantled and it has no power. And they know it because they're catching the tower. Full moon ritual. This is what's going on tonight, Spirit says. I can't make it up. The fool. The fool is about taking a leap of faith. Okay. Why is that there? Clarify the fool. Or these people just fools, okay? Clarify that. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about gathering information, you know, seeking out certain information, finding out things. Maybe they're doing some type of uh, divination, okay? But Page of Wands also represents immature in the spirit because one should be wise enough to know that if I keep doing something over and over and all it's doing is bringing a tower into my life, well, common sense would say, I might wanna focus in on what's going on in my life in real time. It's 11.09 on the clock. A lot of them want to stop the 911 situation. 
They want to slow down the towers, but there's too much chaos coming up against these people because they were wreaking havoc on innocent people. Remember, these people were impulsive. Everybody's got a shadow. I can get into my shadow and act a stone cold fool. But for what? For why? For when? What? What? Why? My question to myself is always, is somebody threatening my life? Is somebody threatening my children's lives? Is somebody threatening my husband's life? Those are my questions in that order. What is going on that's going to make me get into my shadow? These raggedy ass energies were getting into the shadows because they don't like your hair. Oh, you think you cute. Like low vibrational shit. Oh, you, oh, you got a nice body. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a spell on you. Oh, your nails. I'm going to do a spell on you. Oh, every time I see you have on lip gloss. Oh, I want to, you know, these were really like their reasons. So now that they're in spiritual court, they got to explain to the universe, why the hell are you acting a damn fool? Immature in the spirit. Quick to their anger, fast to their anger. Anger is a very beautiful energy, but it should never be displaced. This is why it says be slow to your anger. Because when you're slow to your anger, it gives you time to think about what it is you want to do. A lot of these battles, honestly, were never ours to fight. A lot of these battles, it's like, it's 11-11 on the clock. Some of these battles, you got to pick and choose them. These are battle fighting fools. They get mad at everybody. You mad at the lady at Walmart. You mad at the guy at Walmart. Uh, mad at the person at the light. You mad here, you're mad because you've gone mad. Because you have not conquered the enemy within yourself. Somebody is too preoccupied with taking you down that they are eating themselves alive with this failure. This is current energy. Page of Wands and the Fool. Somebody's trying to figure out something. Yeah, justice. I can't make this up. Karma. Libra energy. Okay. The liberation of this Libra season. Now, September Libra energy is different from October Libra energy. When we hit October, you're going to get a taste of some of that scorpionic energy. I'm telling you, I September 21st to October 21st is about to be lit. October 22nd to November 21st is going to be lit. Between now and the end of the year, what do we got about 90 some plus days before the end of the year? It's no joke. We got the four of pentacles, okay? These people are struggling, holding on to whatever they possibly can at this particular time. You got justice, balance, page of wands. Clarify justice and page of wands, full moon rituals. Yeah, page of pentacles. The earth is not accepting this earth magic. It's not being answered, right? So the shit they used to do, okay, that could have, you know, maybe you might have felt a little something, you know, you could have had to transmute something, but now you're in such a high vibration this stuff can't even touch you. You're aware. You're absolutely aware. But you're untouched and you're unbothered. You just don't, you don't need to be concerned about it. It, it can't do anything for you at this time. Clarify, full moon rituals. I can't make it up. This is current energy. These people are dumb. Listen, I don't know what the hell. The moon. Mm -mm -mm. Page of Pentacles in the reverse is a bad investment. Earth energy, could be doing earth magic, could be sacrificing animals, the fool, somebody could have taken a trip again, like a dummy. The thing is, is that the towers are coming in too fast for these people to even move the right way. So they're desperate. Clarify the moon, current energy. Yeah. To a wands, they're having to make a decision. But when you've sent out death so much and chaos so much, the decision has already been made. This is why the Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. At the time that you should have been making a better decision, you didn't do that. Now the time is up. The jig is up. This is about balance. Libra energy is bringing in liberation and it's fair. You can't lie in spiritual court. Clarify the Two of Wands, the Moon. And the page of pentacles, yeah, I can't make it up. This is what they're doing right now. Current energy, black magic, manipulative energy, chaos magic, black magic, sending you dark energy. And the crazy part about it is they think that they, they're just, I don't know. They feel like we don't know. We always know. What are you talking about? 
Seven of Swords, this is what current energy looks like. Now here's the thing, by way of popular demand, you all wanted spiritual warfare reading. This is why you had to go through so much because you're war ready, okay? And look at what comes out, current energy. One of the alternate choices by way of readings was what? These karmas are out here writing checks that their ass can't cash. It's giving that energy. They're writing checks that their ass can't cash. What's really pissing them off is that they can't get into your energy. Remember, they've been defeated and depleted of all resources, gifts, energy. So here's the thing. They really need your energy to try to take you out. Make it make sense. That's not making sense. So you want me to give you the knife to stab me in the back? You want me to give you the gun to shoot me? You want me to aid and abet you in my own demise? Eh, what? But they're out here talking about you real bad, but they want to switch destinies with you? Like, the shit at this point is just chaotic. It's nothing else to say. It's a shit show. It's a full-blown, full magic, moon magical rituals shit show and the planets are in a beautiful position for the divine collective y'all oh it's, it's so good yeah look at this just looking crazy ten of swords down and out this is what they want this is current energy this is crazy i don't think we give a damn this is us empress energy a masculine can be an empress a feminine can be an empress justice is here i feel like we are just letting things uh <laughs> bs they may we're rolling with the punches if to even say we're doing that four of pentacles they're trying to hold on to any little bit of your energy that they possibly can hold on to but they don't have any of your energy that too is an illusion they don't have any of that right remember we called our power back and a whole freaking hurricane came to georgia <laughs> I've been channeling the energy for the last three months. I said, look, whatever is going on down in Georgia with you little sneaky ass witch bitches, listen, something is coming through by way of a natural catastrophe. Florida, listen, Georgia. They think, they think that Hurricane Helene is the one. No, uh-uh. It's 1118 on the clock. You got Mama Wata that's about to come and knock the shit out of them. You got Oya coming because they've been playing with spirit so much. I'm telling you, stop playing with the chosen. They think it's a game. It's not a game. And if it were a game, you bitches been losing for the longest. Please go lay down and take your karma. And do your best to learn from it. And hope that you survive it. The ancestors. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands represents the seven Orishas. The controllers of consciousness. Okay. Earth, wind, fire. We mastered it. How do we master it? Because you remember in one of your lifetimes, you know how your enemy got rid of you? They burned you at the stake. So guess what? You mastered fire. Then in another lifetime, they drowned you. Remember, you mastered water. Where do you think your spirit went? You became fire. When they drowned you in water, you became water. When they suffocated you, you became the wind. When they buried you alive in the earth, you became the earth. Surprise. Surprise. We are the forces of nature. There's nowhere to run to. There's nowhere to hide with the fool. Where y'all think y'all going? You trying to take a trip? We gonna be there too. Caught you. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse is getting your sneaky ass caught up. There's nowhere you can go. It doesn't matter where you go. Where you going? Albuquerque? Japan? Where you going? Where you going? Nowhere. Four of Cups. We're talking about tapped into apostolic realms. Prophetic realms. Four of Cups. Yeah, grief. Remember, they're trying to pull a fast one. They thought they had this one figured out. Oh, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to move out of the country. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there. And guess what? 
They had no idea that you would be there too. You are the forces of nature. Yeah, look, I can't make it up and you already saw it coming. High Priestess. <laughs> Full moon rituals, yeah, listen, I can't make it up, and this is them. You still came out. I can't even make it up, and this is them. They tried to block your intuition, so this is what this full moon uh, ritual was supposed to do. Somebody could have tried to do something to uh, disrupt your, your third eye. Yeah, this is a psychic attack. Somebody didn't want you to see something. Somebody wanted to take the crown right out of your head. That's what I just heard. Take the crown right out of your head. The high priestess. They wanted to come up in the reverse. But really the high priestess in the reverse is them. They have no intuition. They have no foresight. They don't know what's going to happen. But we do. This is why they're still watching you. Because they need answers. Judgment. I don't know why they need answers now. It's like asking for the answers after you've already taken the final exam and you failed. It's like, no, ma'am, you failed the test. Now you want to study for the exam? Now you're watching us to do what? What you looking at? What you looking at? Why are you out here still running your mouth? Still trying to speak curses over somebody? Clarify what's going on. In percent of seven of wands, we out here looking real good. Two of swords, I can't make it up. This is to blindsight you so you don't see it coming. It's not going to work. Clarify what's going on to a source. They made a decision. Full moon magic rituals. It's a lot of dead ass energy. Three of cups, child. The power of three. Clarify the empress energy. Seven of wands energy. Please and thank you. Yeah. Didn't I tell you, page of source? They're watching. Watching us be celebrated. Watching us support one another. Watching us be masters of spiritual war. Yeah, period. Look at this. Ten of cups. <laughs> Ten of cups. Celebrating one another, being celebrated by the universe, by the cosmos, unbothered. We are in the Hierophant energy, very diplomatic, very poised, very much respected by the spirit realm because you have mastered yourself. You've mastered your anger. You understand that anger is not just something that you get angry for every little thing. At least you be in an emotionally imbalanced idiot looking like a damn fool and guess what spirit says what i'm saying is the truth it's 11 22 on the clock and you got divine unions coming in high priestess in the hierophant listen it's not a joke and if it was i don't think they're laughing this shit is backfiring so bad look eight of pentacles working everybody's working we're working they're working what kind of work you're doing is what's absolutely going to put you in a position to get what it is that you want to get. Everybody's going to get what they deserve. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Nine to the Ten of Cups. Okay. Full Moon Magic Rituals. And then you got the Five of Cups. You got the Nine of Cups. Somebody's getting what they want from the universe. The universe is saying, job well done. This is beautiful energy. You're a leader. You're a teacher. You're a guide. You love people. Seven of Wands, the ancestors are backing you. You're taking a leap of faith. While these people are running in circles trying to figure out which ritual is going to work this time. And listen, the last 10,000 death rituals, you ate it. You transmuted it. Why are they watching you? Because they're wondering, why are you still alive? How? Five of Cups. It don't take long before somebody realizes, well, damn, if you're not in the Ten of Swords and this death magic is not working or this poverty spell or money spell or whatever the hell they're trying to do, who knows? It's not working because they've been caught, Seven of Swords. So if we can see them, that means that the universe is watching as well, right? The universe is making us aware of this sneaky behavior with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. You've been caught. There's nothing that cannot be found out. So says spirit, so say I, so says my spirit team. You've been caught to spiritual jail. You will go in the middle of spiritual warfare. The battle is not with us. The battle was always with self.
We don't hate y'all. But y'all are sending hate to the divine collective. We don't hate you. We just don't like you. We hate your ways. We hate the spirits that you carry. <laughs> you know, the spirit of jealousy, strife, anger, you know, weirdness. Yeah, this energy, five of swords, wanting to fight, You're just waking up mad, rolling over mad, seeing somebody doing good and you mad. Instead of doing your part and doing what it is that you need to do for your life, you, you rolling over mad. There's always going to be greater or lesser in terms of life. So one needs to be mindful, find your own happiness, find your own joy, find you something that you love. Instead of, you know, attacking people, you could be learning, but now it's too late. Your ass has already failed the course. You're flunking the class. You can't go back to class. You've been kicked out of spiritual school. The universe is saying, enough, we don't even want you here, but, but I'm ready to take notes. No, you just want to take notes so you can try to go back and try to figure out how to get all this nasty ass energy back into the ethers that we had to clean up. We're not cleaning up no more of your basuda. This next ritual that you're sending back, I promise, you're going to see Florida is going to continue to be up under judgment. PA is under judgment. New Jersey, Jersey is under judgment. Las Vegas is under judgment, okay? And when I say that, I don't mean the entire state. I mean certain people. There's a, there's a large number, number, excuse me, of people there that are doing things that are spiritually negligent, that the universe is making sure that they pick apart those people, that they find them. It's like a needle in a haystack. But now they're the sore thumb, they're sticking out. They're not hard to find by way of their energy, right? Remember, it's not too many people that don't wanna be right. It's only a small amount of them that are still trying to keep hate alive, you know? They got hope that they can keep hate alive. It's not that many of them. Most people have cleared up their karmic debt. Even people that have done wrong, you know, they've made amends. They've atoned with whoever they feel they need to atone with in the spirit. Be that alive or unalive, they've made their atonements. They've made peace. There's a small percentage of people that's still trying to keep this bullshit going. <laughs> Clarify the A of Swords, Holy Spirit. I don't know who this King of Wands in the reverse is. But I hope that they have a special place. They meaning the spiritual police. I hope they have a special place in hell for you. Could be a feminine, could be a masculine, doesn't matter. But King of Wands in the reverse is just abusive energy. We're not going to even give this person, you know, uh, the liberty or the courtesy, honestly, here in spiritual court to have any type of Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo placement. This could be anybody. This is abuse of magic, abuse of fire, abuse of anger, impulsive energy, uncontrollable hate, not knowing, just been hating for so long, that's just what you are. You wake up going to bed angry, you, uh, you, know, you walk through your day mad. You're mad at breakfast, you don't know why you're mad, everything is fine and you're mad. You don't know how to forgive. You're abusing people that you think are still a part of your energy and they're not. The shit is, a, the, 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 like, the only battle that's going on is the one that's between somebody's ears. It's an illusion. Some of these people are mad at people that are still dead. They're still mad at people that ain't even in the world no more. Isn't that insane? trying to wreak havoc on somebody who's been unalived or maybe their time was up. This is the kind of energy I'm getting. Eight of swords, five of swords, two of swords, conflict, confusion, disappointment, depression, sadness, ten of swords, betrayal on top of betrayal. The magic is backfiring in the reverse. Somebody's still trying to do it up under this moon because they need something to go in their favor. Two of pentacles in the reverse. The earth is rebuking their energy. The universe is backing the earth and blocking whatever earth magic and sacrifices this is. Any deity trying to take any type of offering from these people will eventually attack them. These deities understand that they have been put on notice. These demonic forces know that we have come to torment them because they are out of time. Their contract is done. Why are you bitches still clocked in? Why are you not clocking out demonic forces? So when you show up, they scatter. They're afraid of your life. They're afraid of your energy. Why? 
because they know who you are. Your name is written in the stars. So in the ethers, they're mentioning you as a spiritual guru. Yeah, no, nah, uh, you don't want to do nothing to her because, yeah, she's powerful. This, this is how they talk in quiet because remember, they're cowards. They're hating in private. They're hiding hate in their heart, but out of their mouth, they're cowards. Uh, yeah, no, you don't want to. Uh, no, they said he's, he's, he's too protected. This is their energy. This is how they talk. This is what they really don't want you to see. But deep down in their hearts, they still want to win. They still want to try to take you down. They still want to see if they can get something done. They're still trying to see if these demons are going to obey them. These demons can't even hear them. These demons are mute. They have deaf ears. Their prayers are falling on deaf ears. These demons will not answer them and will not do what it is that they say. Why? Because they've been stripped of authority and power. When they had authority and power, they misused it. They abused it. They did it over and over and over and over to the universe was like, okay, you know what? I'm snatching all your power, all of who you are, what you thought it was. It's over. No more. Goodbye. The universe is leaving these people out in the cold. I can't make it up the five of pentacles. Right before I came on this video, I just came up out of like maybe, I think I was in prayer for maybe three hours. I counted three hours. I did some prayer. You know, I did some singing and dancing, you know, I cleaned my house from top to bottom because when you're preparing for a blessing, you have to make room for it. Okay. Saw some things in the spirit realm. I'm not exempt. You know, they send me stuff too. I'll be saying that shit. I'll be like, mm -mm, I ain't got time for that. I got people I got to help. Y'all still over there burning them candles. You still over there doing whatever you're doing. They love the shut up spells. Because the fact that we're speaking the truth really does, really does shake up their magic or the lack thereof. It just frustrates them more and more because they have to then sit in their own energy. And this is not something that they like to do. It's like, you know, watching a child that you're potty training, you know, and they shit their pants and they got to sit in it all day. It's uncomfortable. They don't like it. Some of them been shitting on themselves so much, shitting in their own shit. Child, they just used to chaos, drama. That when things are normal, they really don't know how to move. I've seen people who were so demonically attacked, so negative, that when things are peaceful, they'll find something to be mad about. I remember one time I was in a relationship with a full-blown demon. He came home and I'm just doing what I normally do, whether I'm single or not. My home is always clean. I'm always going to be clean. My children are always going to be clean because cleanliness is next to godliness. And this is how I get blessed. There's no way the Most High is going to come bless you and you're not grateful for what it is that you have. I don't care if you got one room. Even when I was in a hotel in between homes, I kept my hotel room clean. I'm like, thank you universe for this bed. Child, you got me in a five-star hotel. This is nice. I could be anywhere. I'm not sleeping on the streets. What? It's the gratitude, right? And I remember he came home and he said, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but it, it, it's too perfect. He went crazy, literally. I watched the man go crazy. It's 11.33 on the clock. He would blow out my candles. I'm a candle person. I like candles in my bathroom. I like really nice candles. I love nice candles. Like these, I specifically chose those. Why? Because I turned these into planters later. I'm a green thumb, honey. Yes, I get out there with these nails and my gloves and I will plant a plant in a minute, honey. I use these for my vases. So I like nice candles that come, like I love candles. He would go through the house and blow out the candles, just anything to create chaos. Now, mind you, the, the energy would be high. It's clean, it smells good. You know, there's always something in the kitchen to eat. There's always something that's ready to eat. It was too perfect. This person only knew how to function in chaos. So you know what I did? Because it was wise. I had to leave this person in their chaos. 
They came home one day and I was gone. Because I said, well, I brought peace, but you're bringing chaos. This is, this is not what I signed up for. So maybe this was just a lesson. I'm going to take my peace because my peace is going to return back to me. If there's no peace in the circumstance, stomp your feet, shake your feet, and your peace is going to return back to you. And you go about your journey. Now, unfortunately, that story didn't turn out too well. Not for him. I'll tell y'all the rest of that later. But he totally freaked out. Literally freaked out. Because it was the absence of peace. I don't want to fight. I ain't got time to argue and scream and stuff and raise my voice and lose my voice and Listen, I love my voice. I love, I love my face. I don't want no wrinkles. I don't want to cry. I'm not, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. That's why when I see people in relationships and they're like, oh, we working it out. Uh, that's a red flag, boo. At this point in your evolution, once you've mastered yourself, your relationship should be easy. Oh, it's complicated. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not signing up for complicated. Fix your shit. Who do you want to be? What is this about? What do you want to do? And let's just have a good life. If not, then yeah, it's better to be alone than to be in bad company. And that's the truth. Needless to say, I just gave y'all another story. You know, I love telling story time in the middle just to let you know I'm not exempt. Let me take a little sip of my spring water. Hold on. So meanwhile, current energy right now in this hour, this is what somebody is doing. A lot of people, a lot of your enemies are doing black magic. Stuff is being rejected. Five of Pentacles, they're going broke. Okay, a lot of money spent. So that's creating more anger, more strife, more disappointment. Uh, is it worth it type of an energy? Some of them have conjured up things, honestly, that uh, they're bound to. They don't even know what the hell to do. Knight of Wands energy, sex magic energy. Yeah, impulsive energy. The Knight of Wands with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, King of Wands in the reverse. Uh, is somebody very passionate in pursuit to bring detriment to somebody else or passionate about bringing in this sneaky, deceptive energy. They just keep doing it. They're just obsessed about it. They just keep, they, they just can't give up. But remember, a lot of them have conjured up things that they don't know how to get rid of. So remember, these, these uh, deities, they require elaborate offerings, you know, animals, uh, some of them. Some of them went really, really far with this stuff, especially the destiny swap stuff. Right? So what happens when you run out of money? There's no practitioners that's going to do this for free. You're out in the cold. And now you got an entity attached to you that's whooping your ass because it's come to collect. That was a part of the agreement, right? They were asked, are you sure you want to do this? You really want to destiny swap? You want to conjure this up? You want to da-da-da-da? You want to do this earth magic? Listen, earth. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You want to do this earth magic? You want to, you know, sacrifice this, you know, animal? You want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm positive. I want to do it. You sure? Okay, here we go. So now the five of cups, eight of swords, five of swords, two of swords, seven of swords in the reverse, the moon, two of wands. Well, somebody's not looking so sure. Somebody wants to undo something. Listen, four of pentacles trying to hold on to you. One little thing of whatever they have that could belong to you. If somebody has something that belongs to you, they're just holding on to it for dear life. But here's the thing. Your spirit is not in it. Be that a doll, a pair of shoes, a strand of hair. Your spirit's not in it. You've ascended too high. Somebody's working with dead energy. You know how many death transformations and rebirths you had to go through to get to this? That somebody's working with an outdated, old, dead version of you? Somebody might as well just be getting into bed with a dead body. Or whatever this is. Articles of clothing or whatever this was that they made something up out of or whatever it is. Let me clarify the higher font and the high priest of seven of wands and the ten of cups and the empress energy. I can't make it up, baby. You got love coming through. Four of wands. A lot of us are manifesting our soulmates. A lot of us are manifesting... Kingdom spouses, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And some of us are just manifesting our soul tribe, even if it's not a love situation, right? You're manifesting your brothers, your sisters, people you can laugh and love with. Like, I'm loving the fact that y'all text me. The people that have my number, it's a text-only number, but the fact that we communicate every day, 
I absolutely love it. You know who you are. You make me laugh. We laugh together. We cry together. But I promise you, we are crying tears of joy because we resonate with one another. We know what each other's been through. When I hear your story, it's my story. Just know that. Some of it's a little bit different, you know, but for the most part, we all been through hell and back. Why? Because going through that level of spiritual warfare got you war ready. So now when the battle comes and somebody want to come and bring their battles and their woes, because really they're having an internal battle. It really doesn't have anything to do with you. Somebody's just angry. How did you get there? This is what they're mad about. So they're angry. So they want to steal it. They want to kill, steal and destroy what it is that they don't understand when they really should be taking notes. But now it's too late to take notes. Some of them can't even reach you energetically. Their energy is too short to even reach you. 3D energy and you chilling at the 10D and above, you might come down to the 5D when you feel like it, okay? And then if you go to the 3D, you're not to be touched. People have to get out of your way. You've suffered enough. Oh, y'all think y'all all that. Well, listen, the universe said that we're all that. Even when we were all that, we didn't feel like we were trying to figure out what part of the game was this. With the betrayals, stabbing in the back, death spells, sickness spells, money spells, whatever kind of spell. We didn't feel like we were all that. If it's any karmic consolation, <laughs> whatever that's worth. But at the end of the day, guess what? We had to learn how to get up and live our lives. Take a chance, walk away from people that maybe we thought we would never have to walk away from. This is what's made you war ready. All that spiritual warfare made you war ready. You're a master. Somebody send an energy right now as we speak, okay? Needless to say, you got the Empress energy. A lot of these divine masculines are protecting their feminines. This is how you do it. Even if you don't know who your divine masculine is or feminine is, and you're in your prayers, you just say, you know what, most high? God bless my divine masculine wherever he is. I don't know where he is. I ain't even met him yet. Or maybe I have. Who knows? Whatever it is. You just put a prayer out into the ethers. Let that float out into the ethers. Let it, let it resonate. Let it take flight. You know, let that grow. Send that person blessings. As you're burning a white candle for yourself for peace, power, you know, protection or one for your divine ancestors so you can have divine intervention at times that you need to have divine intervention. So say I, so say me, so say we, my spirit team for me and my beautiful divine family. And it's really just that easy. We don't have to spend a lot of time. We ain't got to stay up all night. Let them stay up all night looking crazy, doing sleep spells so you don't get no rest. Child, I am going to bed and I'm going to sleep well. My son woke up this morning. He says, Mom, I slept like a baby. I said, me too. <laughs> Ain't I got time for that. You sleep well. Yeah. Listen, let them stay up all night in the nine of swords looking, looking like this. What is this? No. We say no. It's a yeah, hell to the no for us. Four more rituals. Yeah, King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, these divine unions are coming together. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles is a husband and a wife or two people that work really well together. Or this could just be one person in a beautiful divine energy. You listen, this, this energy that's open to us right now, y'all, take this energy and manifest beautiful things for your life. Let these people stay in this sewer, water, ass, basura energy. Let them play in the trash. I promise you, the universe is already discarding of them. If they want to play in the trash and play in the mud and play with shit up to their eyebrows and play in shit, 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 shittier than shit, it's the shittiest shit show that ever did shit. Whatever they want to be, the cucarachas, okay? They're the roachiest roaches that ever did roach. Whatever it is, let them stay in it. Stay in your position. This is the message. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Look at you out here. Queen of Wands, attractive. Fire sign energy, the star, Aquarius energy. Listen, a lot of you are being called to come to the public eye. 
And I feel like a lot of you already are. And if you're not in the public eye, you're being celebrated just in general. You're the star. You shine wherever you go. People come to you. They're coming to the light all over the world. I can't make it up. The world. The World Wide Web. Thank you, Spirit. We got the High Priestess to the Emperor to the Empress. Look at this. King and Queen of Pentacles. This is a couple. This is marriage. Four of Wands. The Fool taking a leap of faith. While somebody taking a trip to the doggone practitioner or maybe to the doctor, you're taking a leap of faith and following the most high. It's 1144 on the clock. Four of Wands. That Four of Wands also looks like 1111. Listen, that's those synchronicities. If there's any confusion, just pray. Divine intervention is there, which I don't feel like there's any confusion. I feel a lot of peace around our energy I feel like we're surrendering that which we don't understand and we're allowing the universe to answer us back and so shall it be. Listen, full moon rituals, what's going on? What's going on? The will of fortune. This is beautiful energy, y'all. Do you know I heard somewhere that some of these planets have not been in this position for over 80,000 years, some of them? How powerful this energy is that we're under and we only have about 90-something days left in the year? how beautiful this is to keep putting out beautiful energy and it just naturally dismantles any nasty energy that somebody could be sending to you. This is beautiful energy. Clarify, spirit. Nine of Wands. I can't make it up. Protecting your energy. Guard. Wounded warrior energy. Your battles are over, but you battle ready. You war ready if you need to. Look, I can't make this up. Nine of Wands is protecting your energy. Wounded warrior energy. And the Six of Wands, you have the victory over the enemy because you first conquered yourself. You were courageous enough, brave enough to go into your shadows. You went into all those shadows. You know what you did? And you rewrote the script. You rewrote the story. You control all deleted people that you never needed to know no more. Right? You did. You got the power to do it. So you did. Now, some of these people wish that they could go back and jump timelines. But remember, they don't have the keys. What does that mean? You've been set in time out. Time out means that somebody's stuck on a certain timeline in a certain time, and they got to eat that time. They can't jump to the back. They can't jump forward. They can't go back and change nothing that they did, and they can't move forward. It's stagnant, sinking energy. It's stuck. Because, again, this was the energy that they put out. So as much as they want to play the victim, right, they were having a lot of time to think about why the hell are you out here being the villain? Some of them don't even know why they were being the villain. Look, I can't make it up. The lovers in the reverse and the three of swords in the reverse, the inability to love self, didn't want to show any love. Some of them don't even know why they are mad. They've been mad for so long, they're just dedicated to it. They function in chaos. Well, sad enough to say, it's very sad. The lovers in the reverse, it's like showing no love, haters energy, three of swords, shot these people are under judgment. Every full moon ritual being done right now is backfiring instantaneously. I don't even see why these people would waste their time. Nine of Pentacles energy, making an offering. Somebody's running to the graveyard, they're making an offering to something. With the Nine of Pentacles, somebody's making an offering to something. Temperance, putting in prayers, making offerings that are absolutely earthbound and going nowhere. I cannot make it up. Knocking on doors that are closed that they don't have the keys to, the world. What is the offense in spiritual court? The offense in spiritual court is abuse of power, negligent energy, refusing to evolve, refusing to get out of karmic cycles, refusing to take accountability, refusing to stop doing heinous things, uh, getting out of this God complex, feeling as though you got the right to try to control somebody else's life. When your life is all out of control, it's not adding up. The two just don't go together. And that's just what it is. And that is this case. Ooh. 
who is on the drums? Listen, this shit is done. So all this spiritual warfare. Has made you war ready. You know their tricks. You know what to do. You know what it is. You can rest well at night knowing that all is well and everything is going in your favor because the universe feels as though you just bring good flavors. You're high vibrational. You taste really good. You smell really good. Life is really good in the spiritual neighborhood and you're on the good end of karma so stay in your high vibration keep rebuking and doing whatever it is that you're doing because it's working you're a master but at the same time most of our focus honestly is not on these people we're just aware of it it's not we don't give them any power we don't give them any clouts we give them nothing to work with no energy. As a matter of fact, we call back all of our power from these people right now. Any little bit of power that they could have been under the illusion that they still had, they don't. We're not really giving it any energy. We're just being made aware, right? Because we got people that are here for educational and spiritual purposes. Everybody can learn from these fools of what not to do. So if they were under some type of an impression that they had any little bit of your energy, any little bit of who you are, it's a wrap. The numbers don't lie. It's just not adding up. Shit's not matching up by way of the stars. Now, also, on an alternate timeline, by way of high vibration, listen. This is a good time to manifest anything that you want to manifest. The universe is taking all good prayers. These apostolic realms are open. Are there going to be more natural catastrophes? Yes. Pennsylvania, look out for Pennsylvania, Jersey, New York. Look out for these places. Florida. I flipped my cards three times, three days before I heard about Hurricane Helene. And my son came to tell me. I didn't even know. He's like, Mom, did you hear about Hurricane Helene? And then somebody else from the Soul Tribe texted me and was like, listen, they're evacuating Florida. I'm like, what? When? I'm like, girl, maybe that's why I kept, you know. Flipping cards on Florida. I'm telling you, there's so much witchcraft that was done there. Mexico, watch it. it. Had a lot of people from California going over to Mexico to get witchcraft done. See, when we say the forces of nature, they're literally shaking up the earth. They're uprooting the bullshit y'all buried in the earth. Dolls, jars, bones, blood, animals, all this bullshit y'all did. It's being removed. California, your punk ass is under judgment. Look out for your earthquakes and look out for your little hurricanes. Oh, we've never had a hurricane in uh in uh California. Well, listen. That's like telling the forces of nature, you can't go beyond the realms of possibility. When they've been to the edge of infinity, the hell is that? What does that mean? They told Texas, you ain't gonna never have no earthquake. Texas had an earthquake. Texas is gonna get another damn earthquake. Why? Because you got somebody's hard-headed ass out there that's still doing witchcraft on people. And bitch, we trying to move towards love. Okay? The end. I'm done. I'm, I know I went on a, a little bit of a tangent, but I promise you it came from a very pure space. I love y'all. As I open up this door, I call my spirit back. Ooh, I get grounded and stay well rounded. I send you all so much peace, love, and light. Thank you for your love donations. Y'all are so nice to me. I'm so happy. I went and bought candles and more cards and lights and a desk and thank you that's all i can say i'm very grateful i love y'all drop a heart down below show some love i will see you in the next video until then peace be with you